Hi everyone, now we arrive to unit number 3. In this unit, we are going to take topic number 4 and topic number 5. Let's start talking about topic number 4. It is all about generate equivalent expressions. Okay, in lesson number 1, we are going to write and evaluate algebraic expressions. That means we are going to read word problems, okay, and change them into math. The other thing that we are going to do is to evaluate, which means to substitute the value inside the variable or replace the variable by its value in the uh, expression. Lesson 2 will be generate equivalent expressions. We are going to recognize when two expressions are equivalent or not. Also, we are going to use the, uh, the properties of operations to write equivalent expressions. We are going to rearrange combining like terms uh, in order to do that. In lesson number three, we are going to focus more and more in, uh, about the concept of combining like terms. During lesson 4 and lesson 5, you want to think about them together because one of them we are going to expand expression, the other one we are going to factor, they are opposite to each other. In the first one, we are going to use the distributive property, while in the other one, we are going to factor by thinking about the greatest common factor. Lesson number 6 and lesson number 7. They are also related. Here we are going to add expressions, while here we are going to subtract expressions. Uh, in order to do that, we want to remember the rule, the rules to use a coefficient constant in dealing with the expressions. Here, in the subtraction, we want to understand that subtraction is the inverse operation of uh, addition. During the last lesson, we are going to write equivalent expressions to show how quantities are related in real life application. Now, let's go to topic number five. In this topic, we are going to solve problems using equations and inequalities. We will start with equations first, then we will go to the inequality. In topic number one, we are going to write two step equations. Okay. How we are going to write them? We are going to analyze word problems. Word problems. Uh, then we are going to write two step equations. Understanding the relationship between terms of the equation and the value uh, they represent. In lesson number two, which is solve two step equations, now we want to solve. Solving means I want to isolate the variable. This is the main idea, isolating the variable. Uh, in isolating the uh, variable, we are going to use models to solve them and compare algebraic and arithmetic solutions. Uh, we may need one step or two step uh, for these type of equations until, until this level. During the lesson number three, we need more than one or two step equation. Uh, we will go to sometimes three or more than that uh, steps. We are going to use the property of uh, distribution. Okay. Uh, so we can solve the equations. In lesson number four, we will start solving inequalities. We are going to see what is uh, similar and what is different between inequalities and equations. When we are going to solve them, we want we are going to use uh, the uh, addition and subtraction property. Now we will come to lesson number five. Again, we are going to solve inequalities, but now we are going to do multiplication or division. And we will see how multiplying or dividing an inequality will be different than equation. Uh, 
Uh, of course, when we are talking, ab uh, talking about inequalities, we want to graph the solutions. We are going to learn that, how to put them on the number line. Now, in lesson number six and lesson number seven, in these two lessons, we are going to uh, go through more complex inequalities. And instead of one step, we are going to do two step uh, inequalities. And in uh, um, lesson number seven, we are going to do multi step inequalities and solve them. And again, we want to show uh, the solutions on the number line. We are going to use all the properties uh, which we are going to need them. So as a, a conclusion, in topic number four, we are going to understand algebraic expressions. We are going to simplify expressions. Um, also, we are going to combine like terms. Um, again, we are going to expand expressions, factor expressions, and understand the concept of equivalent expression. And for topic number five, we are going to solve two-step equations and inequalities. We are going to uh, do them in steps. We are going uh, to use the distributive property, of course. Also, very important thing that we are going to uh, apply the inverse operation. This is a very important concept which uh, we are going to deal with it. The inverse operation in solving both um, inequalities and uh, equations. Thank you very much for listening for this video.